Well, I am Roberto Puero. I am a novelist and a professor at the University of Iowa, professor of creative writing, and also a columnist, and now ambassador of Chile to Mexico. A very big honor and also a big challenge, uh, a new stage in my life. I arrived in Iowa City in the year 2000. Um, I arrived from Sweden, and uh, but the first time I I came to the city, it was 1996, invited by the International Writing Program, and I fell in love with the city. So in the year 2000, I returned this time with my family, with my wife and my two, our two kids, to this city, and we came just for three years, but this happened almost 12 years ago because we liked the city so much, we got wonderful friends, I got a job at the University of Iowa and I have been able to teach and know a lot of wonderful students and I have also time to write new novels. Readers ask uh, always where do ideas come from and uh, if they are related to fantasy, imagination or reality. And I always tell them it's, it's a very complex uh, answer but it's intertwined. Uh, you never know exactly where ideas come from uh, when you write novels. You, you, you are not so 100% conscious about what you are doing. In my case, I feel uh, the need to write down um, about images, stories, plots, um, situations. And this starts to work and while I'm writing. It, it starts to connect. The dots start to connect among themselves. And that's the way it starts. After a while, you re realize there is a certain rhythm, there is a certain direction. Some characters start to live, other characters die. Some questions become more important, others disappear, disappear. So you are not, in reality, that's my feeling, the, the captain of the, of the ship. There are other elements or factors who are playing uh, while you're writing a novel. But you have this general sense that you are leading this to a certain place you don't know exactly in advance. But there are other m factors you cannot control and they are working with you while you're writing a novel. Yes, I, well, space is very important in my novels. As, uh, places I, I like to put my characters, but also the place where I write, the room for myself, it's very important when I like, I, I want to write. Um, and it depends. For example, in Iowa City, I have a, a wonderful studio at home in the Magawan Avenue, and looking at forests, uh, uh, at the trees and some neighbor houses, and to the houses of other writers like Marilyn Robinson or Chris Merrill. Um, and that's a wonderful place to write. It's on the second floor of my home. I love to be there. I love to be in this quiet place with big windows. And I like also to sometimes to listen to music. And this is a good, like an oasis to write. But on the other side, I have written a lot. And uh, in places like Prairie Lights, and also Java House. And for example, in Java House, I wrote um, more or less two novels, arriving every day because I, write, I start writing every day early in the morning. I started in Java House at 6.30 in the morning until 8, 8.30. And I was the first one who was outside the door waiting Java House to open. And I knew exactly I had to go to the last table at the end of the, the back of, of the cafe. And there I started to write. And all, although I was in a public place, I could also get and build my own oasis and had my own quietness. And I was able to write very focused. Because after a while, while you're writing, if the novel is talking to you, 
you start forgetting what is going around you. Yes, place is very important, but the most important thing is no matter where you are, if you are in a dialogue with your novel, if this novel is really living, you will forget everything what's going on around you. And uh, uh, people like, well, Baudelaire or Jose Marti, uh, Walter, uh, uh, Walter Benjamin, who, who liked uh, to write in New York City, in cafes in New York City, or in Paris, or in Moscow, or, or in Berlin, like the case of Walter Benjamin, they could also uh, focus very well um, and stay very related to what they were writing, and no matter what was going around them. When I finish a novel, uh, I, I, I know I, I need some a kind of break, a pause, uh, and the most important element or factor who can help you to recover your energy and your ideas and recharging your batteries is to travel. I travel a lot um, and uh, listen to music, uh, classical or jazz, or reading um, not only uh, fiction but also history or, or essays um, and also talking to not necessarily to writers, talking to common people who are not writers. Um, I don't think the stories are among writers. I don't think the good stories are necessarily in bars where writers gather. Uh, the stories are everywhere and, uh, and it's important to, to talk to many people, different people. And there, then you get some ideas or uh, on which you can work later. It, has, it is related to pleasure, to, uh, I would say, uh, uh, also sensual pleasure, spiritual pleasure. Um, it's related to that, pleasure, first of all. But it also it is related to politics. I think novelists, we are very political in what we do because we relate more or less to the outside reality in a more direct way than a poet, for example, or a surrealist painter. painter. So there are, well, different dimensions, but for me it's related first to, to this pleasure, to the feeling of pleasure. A writer First, I think everybody can become a writer. I think inside us uh, there is a writer, like an artist. And I feel that and I have realized that during my classes of creative writing. Not all students I have in my classes are students who want to become writers or feel they could become writers. I have a lot of students who just want to explore how it is to write fiction. and. Um, then they realized that if they have a good instructor or someone who can lead them, they can start to become writers and they can enjoy writing fiction without ever having known that before. So I think there is a kind of potential inside us of becoming a writer, of becoming a novelist, of becoming a, an artist, a painter, a painter. It depends on who is leading you and of course there's some, there are difference, differences in terms of talent later or, 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 or dedication. But a writer is a person who wants to retell the story or the, the life or some uh, experiences through a written word. That's for me. Uh, a writer is a person who thinks or feels that life as it is, is not complete without the written version of life. And I feel that every time when I travel, when I go to a cafe, when I met some interesting people, I know they are for themselves complete and total. And, but on the other side, I feel they are incomplete as long as no text have been written 
about them and presenting them. There's another this dimension of, ex of existence and the writer lives in that dimension and wants to translate all this, what is around him or her, into this dimension of, the, in this case, written word. Mm -hmm.